the Navajo Nation's top leaders has come under fire for attending a Trump rally in Phoenix, a hotbed for coronavirus, all while people on the reservation back home are being told to stay home. News 13's Francesca Washington explains how he defends his trip. We're here today to declare that we will never cave to the left wing and the left wing intolerance. Spotted in a crowd of 3,000 people, Vice President of the Navajo Nation, Myron Lizer. Your Navajo people were, were still here and, and needed help, and, and the rally wasn't the place to be. Lizer attended a Students for Trump rally in Phoenix last week after months of urging people to stay home and enacting weekend lockdowns. Oh, it's just like locking people up in a corral and then they just take off and then it's fine for them while everybody else is suffering. That's fine to meet with the president, but to go to a rally where high infection rates could happen, then you're not leading by example. Lizer says he was getting face time with the president on behalf of the Navajo Nation, lobbying for more time to spend the $714 million given to them by the federal government for coronavirus relief. I was doing what a leader does, meeting with other leaders to advocate for a, a time extension. Never before have we received this amount of money ever. You can see in the rally video people ignoring social distancing and many of them not wearing masks. But Lizer says he took extra precautions to stay safe. I was wearing my mask. In fact, I was probably the only one wearing two masks. I was wearing a KN95 um, you know, mask. I was also wearing a cloth mask over that. But those with friends and family on the reservation aren't convinced attending the rally was essential. I mean, come on, there's, that's just a double standard. Francesca Washington, KRQE News 13. Now, Vice President Leiser tells us that he did get a COVID test after the rally and his results came back negative. Out of town.